Well, I want to thank this House of Books and Mark Taylor and Rosanna Buell for this opportunity to read a couple of poems from the anthology, Poetics for the More Than Human World, an anthology of poetry and commentary. Um, I thought I'd start with a poem that reverses all our ideas about nature poetry, I think. And this is translated from the Hebrew by Mayan Eitan and Oded Carmeli. It's called Hating Animals. A dove is a winged rat. A cat is furred cockroach. And it's killing me. How chickens taste like chicken. Dinosaurs tasted like chicken. It sickens me that carnivores are not vegan and omnivores not picky. It's eating me up the way grasshoppers rape and pillage and ducks don't pay taxes and never vote. And all the microorganisms combined have not contributed a single verse to modern Hebrew poetry. How can they live like that? How can I live after something like that? Animals, what a bunch of primitives. The Archaea kingdom, a monarchy. The arthropod phylum, a technocracy. The maximal maxillopoda class still waging class warfare, the Lepidoptera order a cult, the Liliaceae family values, family values, the Aleuropoda genus, all racists, and the species Homo sapiens, a subspecies of subhumans still discriminating against women. In the worst storm in 20 years, and there's one just about every year, you see people standing their ground, you see people running around, you hear the sirens wailing, which means people are at work, are at war, and a tree falls, the people raise back up. You see people rise up, you see people up and running, never even thinking of ever leaving Earth in the worst storm in 20 years. And there's one every year. You see people standing, you see people withstanding, you see people, what you don't see, what you never see are hedgehogs, no hedgehogs. Where are all the hedgehogs? Where's the dove? Where's the crow? One fly to feed upon our dead. There's not a dog in sight. So then I thought I would read one of mine, which actually takes place in Billings based on a true story. So I wrote these um, poems about minerals, or not minerals actually, elements. So I have a poem for just about every element although I grouped some of them together because I couldn't think of how to write an entire poem about Tennessee or something like that. <laughs> um, but this poem, so this is the periodic table of the elements in poetry um, and they're acrostics. Um, so that means that each um, line starts with the first letter of a word. So this happens to be the element silver which is number 47 on the periodic table if you're counting. 47, silver. Sybarite, he of golden toilet fame and his simpering daughter, an imago of a gimlet-eyed wife, emerging full rich with her arms in the wings of her coat. Like she hasn't done a lick of work since she met him, lucky girl. And those voodoo looking sons who love to kill large mammals. It takes a big man. In opposition, a knowing Aramite, our true hero, pushes his homeless body like a coracle into a sidewalk sea. Racketeers plunder, and I, embarrassed, can't meet his eye because I failed him. Saw him bleeding, long complex braids of bright blood down the channels of his face, implicating me and all like me. Ah, but we're past that guilt, we're not there yet. Let's ignore him if he's that sketchy native. Was he, the clerk said, very pretty young woman who wouldn't call an ambulance. I left my phone in the car. Encamped as she was on his home and hearthstone, her feet in his guts ensconced forever, raking in or hoping to, since on $10 an hour, she probably wasn't what he'd been robbed of then and now. Somewhere high up in those mountains to the west, the foundational tailings gleam in mendicant sunlight, dabs of metal in the waste that will be gathered with the last seal. 
left for a while, too insignificant to transport and smelt to purity, sub-rich maybe, less than gold, but still validating the Anglo-American project of might makes right and always has, kingdom come on a liberty dollar, Engelman spruce curling round them like a dragon on treasure, poison tail tight, breath held, really not for long. Economy, swaggering God, will come for those cast offs too. Uh, uh.